30 minutes. That's all it takes in temperatures like this to get frostbite. And Chicago doctors tell us dozens of people are showing up at hospitals with serious injuries from the cold. You might be surprised how they treat it. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli takes a look. The temperature differences between fiery flames and Arctic blasts are drastically different, but exposure to either can lead to similar injuries. Most burn units actually take care of frostbite. They do have a lot of open skin. These bandages cover the severe frostbite wounds of a Chicago area man exposed for 30 minutes to the recent cold after a fall. It's like a more severe burn. Uh, if you look at degrees of burn, it's like a fourth degree burn where the bone and muscle actually are injured such that amputation is frequently necessary. After nearly two week stretch of dangerous temperatures, the burn unit at Loyola University Medical Center is now treating 18 frostbite patients. We're very much overflowing. In the same period, Stroger Hospital's burn unit treated 26 frostbite cases. Great concern for these patients. I mean, it's horrible. And surgeons there are worried about the days ahead. We could see quite a bit more in the next two and a half months, especially if we have these cold stretches. One treatment difference, doctors typically use what's called a bear hugger that pumps warm air into plastic sheets to help increase a frostbite patient's body temperature. I'll do four by four. But for the most part, daily dressing changes, pain medication, and antibiotic creams are identical for both types of patients. The difference between a burn and frostbite is you don't operate right away on a frostbite. That's because it may take longer to know the extent of the injury and the forecast for the days ahead has burn specialists concerned. We had a very cold season approximately three years ago. We saw about 150. We're already on pace to actually beat that. Now, one of the worst things we can do at home if frostbite is suspected is immerse the wound in hot water. Damaged tissue may not notice scalding temperatures and more injuries may occur. The recommendation is to get the patient to an emergency room as fast as possible. Good advice there, Vince. Thank you.